a little gap in my schedule on this cold winter day and I figured hey let's try live I've never done it before um, and let's answer some questions about tearing after vaginal birth so this discussion came up online recently on a mom group as I'm sure it often does about I tore during birth and now I'm scared to have um, intercourse with my partner it's gonna hurt and what can I do so before we start let's just say a couple things I'm gonna discuss some simple techniques that everyone can do themselves in the comfort of their home they are super easy you don't have to be a pelvic floor therapist for this um, that being said this could help most people but of course it's not gonna help everyone these techniques are like a starter that may help um, help with some of your issues but if you have persistent pain if you have persistent scarring you are having difficulties with intercourse or continence you should definitely see a therapist um, that investment of your time in actually going and seeking out help can make such a huge difference in your quality of life you may be able to get back to activities like yoga or running or being intimate with your partner sooner you may be able to use like a tampon or a menstrual cup sooner because your pelvic floor will be in better shape I know there's stuff on the internet and I know I'm putting some basic info out there but after you try these techniques if your problem persists please go see someone so anyway, uh, I am actually going to start out with my very good friend, the pelvic floor therapist, um, the pelvic floor therapist's best friend, the female pelvis, and she has given me consent. She's awesome and she's going to help me show you what actually goes on. So this is the female pelvis. I have taken the organs out just so you can get a better view of the bottom of the floor. So this right here is the labia or the lips and I'm gonna use big girl words just so you know there's no vajayjay this is the vagina and this down here is the anus and when women give birth vaginally the majority of them including me experience some kind of tearing their tears are classified as first second third and fourth degree but that's a different discussion so based on how much you tear or the degree of your tear the tear may be very superficial right here it may go down to the muscle in this area between the vagina and the anus it may go right through to the muscle openings around the anus or it may go through and through between the vagina and the anus that's not fun that requires a good amount of work and I feel your pain ladies but there is hope you can get better so in any case if you tear naturally or if your doctor makes a clean cut an episiotomy to help baby come out you're gonna have a cut over here and in both cases with tearing or with an episiotomy your OB or midwife is gonna stitch you up just so everything heals better now what happens is depending on how the tissue tore or how the stitches were made your tissues may not line up correct so instead of being in good alignment like that healing that way sometimes they're a little askew and that's why you're gonna have pain that's why when you run or walk or do yoga those tissues are kind of pulling or stretching and that causes that friction that causes that pain so anyway when the tissues don't heal right like they don't align they are a little askew or if you have some extra tissue over there after the stitches are done that can be uncomfortable that can cause stretching uncomfortable like activity like yoga walking it can make intimacy either by yourself when you use your fingers or any other device or if you're being intimate with a partner that can become uh, uncomfortable so to help with that there's a few simple things you can do first make sure your provider your OB or your midwife is okay with you doing some hands-on work we're not going to do anything crazy complex but we don't want to cause harm so always check your provider is okay with some gentle massage and other techniques we're gonna do number two make sure you're sufficiently postpartum like you have enough time to heal waiting at least six to eight weeks before you um, get 
down there with some of these hands-on techniques and number three just be comfortable realize that happens to everyone and it's not a persistent or it need not be a persistent problem and we can fix it so wash your hands ladies before you try these um, make sure you are using some gentle water-based lubricant or some coconut oil start off with laying down because you're going to be more relaxed because if you're stressed out everything is going to be more tight and it's not going to be comfortable so lay down if you're laying on your bed or or your couch just flex your hips and knees meaning just bend them like you would if you are doing a bridge so bend your hips and knees now we are going to need two fingers the thumb and your index finger and what you're gonna start off doing and I'll bring my friend the female pelvis over here is you're gonna put your thumb into that vaginal opening now this is a demo where everything doesn't move very much so I can't stick my finger in but you're gonna go just up to like your first knuckle not too deep because we're working off some of the scar tissue at the opening of the vagina so you're gonna put your thumb in the vaginal opening and your pointer finger your index goes right over this tissue between the vagina and your anal opening this is probably where your scar is so we are going to be positioned like the, like that. So for purposes of this, here's the vaginal opening, here's the perineum. So the first thing we are going to do is just apply pressure. So the first thing, the index finger doesn't do much. Your thumb is doing most of the work. And we are going to focus on this part of the vaginal opening. So kind of like from 4 o'clock to 8 o'clock almost. And this is where most women have some tender spots, some scar tissue. So just with your thumb slide gently and find the areas where the tissue feels stiff. It doesn't move much. And all you're going to do is press down with a gentle touch and almost like pull like you're stretching it downwards now this seems counterintuitive like some people think oh I feel tighter isn't that a good thing like I'm not all loose but honestly the tightness is because everything has healed kind of mishmashed and it's not gonna be fun when you try insertion or you know so it's better to be slightly stretched out in the sense that better to be aligned than to be healed poorly so we're just going to apply a gentle stretch downwards and outwards and keep it there for 20 to 30 seconds or if it's uncomfortable just hold as long as is comfortable but not more than 20 or 30 seconds gentle and easy you don't want pain just some gentle stretching and you hold that for 20 or 30 seconds then slide your finger your thumb over and do the same at the next tender spot so you repeat this till you feel like you have stretched out all those tender spots in that lower part of your va uh, vaginal opening your index finger is not doing much this is just the thumb so just gentle pressure downwards so this is technique number one just gentle pressure now technique number two we're going to do some rolling action with the index finger and the thumb so again vaginal opening your thumb goes in up to the first knuckle right there your index finger goes right there and now if my scar is like that I'm just gonna do a gentle rolling massage now I'm gonna show you on my skin just so you can see properly it's almost like I try to pinch tissue and roll it you know like you're trying to ease something out so gentle rolling again don't pinch too tight anyhow so we are gonna have one finger in in the vaginal opening the thumb and your index finger is gonna go on the outside and you're gently massaging that scar out in tiny little circles like that so let's do that little massage just like that and again you can if you have several tender areas you can move from four to eight but mostly it's in one direction um, with most stairs so you try and massage that out again for not too long about 30 seconds as much as is comfortable so that's the second thing you can do a rolling massage and number three is a smudging technique where you're grabbing the tissue between those two fingers and kind of moving it side to side so almost if I grab my skin here and then you're doing a motion like this so moving that scar side to side so again if this is the vaginal opening I'm going to be first knuckle deep my index finger is going to go just on the outside where the scar is happening 
and this time I'm going to do that side to side motion where my index finger and thumb kind of move in opposite directions and just like I said before we are trying to get this lower area where more stairs happen so kind of from four, four o'clock to eight o'clock and you just gently move and move that tissue front and back um, I hope that is helpful we talked about those three techniques the one was gentle pressure with your thumb Number two was gentle rolling between your index finger and your thumb and number three was a smudging or like a smudging technique or moving the tissue back and forth between your thumb and your index finger. Um, this should help a large majority of women who have some minor tearing after vaginal birth or who have an episiotomy and get stitches. Um, for those of you who have some more persistent problems or other um, pelvic flow concerns that are more involved I would strongly recommend seeing a pelvic flow therapist you do not have to live in pain you do not have to live with discomfort or be scared of tampons or your partner and intimacy after a vaginal birth you can heal well um, you don't have to use panty liners for the rest of your life you can be continent um, so yes and you can get back to activity like running like yoga like jumping on the trampoline without experiencing pain or leakage and see a pelvic flow therapist for it i hope these tips help. if you have any questions feel free to message me either on my facebook mother nurture wny or mother nurture wny.com bye